With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello, we are given the question and the question says a galvanometer wearing having 50 divisions. So galvanometer have 50 division with a variable shunt S is used to measure current when connected in series with a resistance of 90 ohm. So it is used to measure current and a battery of internal resistance 10 ohm. It is observed that when the shunt resistance are 10 ohm and 70 ohm respectively, the deflection are respectively 9 and 30 divisions. What is the resistance of the galvanometer? Further, if the full scale deflection of the galvanometer moment requires 200 milliampere, find the EMF of the cell. Right. So the electric current through the galvanometer, the current through the galvanometer is proportional to the number of division or the deflection, right? So therefore we can say that the current through the galvanometer when they vary, they equals theta by theta dash. So that implies Ig that is I dash by IG by I dash G that would be equal to 9 by 30 which is equal to 3 by 10 right now the current IG in galvanometer is written by I into the shunt resistance into S by the resistance of galvanometer plus the shunt resistance S so the current is since the current is equal to E by 100 plus G into S by G plus S when they are connected to a in series with a 90 ohm and internal resistance 10 ohm right so that would be the current correct now from here we can write that ig would be equal to e into s whole divided by 100 plus g s by g plus s into g plus s so this gives you from here we get that uh, when we substitute this value in the equation in first equation right so what we get is ig by i dash g would be equal to e and e gets cancelled s by 100 plus g s by g plus s into g plus s whole divided by s dash by 100 plus g s dash by g plus s dash right into g plus s dash here so this would be the equation that we get right which is equal to 3 by 10 so that is equal to s the shunt resistance initially so in one case it is 10 ohm and in other case it is 70 ohm right so it is 10 by 100 plus 10 g by 10 plus g into 10 plus g whole divided by 70 by 100 plus 70 g by 70 plus g into 70 plus g here right so so now from here what we can get is the value that is 7000 plus 170 g by 7000 plus 770 g 
is equal to 3 by 10 right so from here we get the value that is 7000 plus 170g is equal to 2100 plus 231g so when we simplify this right we get g to be equal to 4900 divided by 61 so when we divide that right so it is 4900 divided by 61 which is equal to approximated as 80.33 ohms that is the resistance of galvanometer right and the current that is given to us in that case for full deflection is 200 milliampere so it is 200 by 1000 that means 0.2 ampere right so according to ohm's law therefore the emf would be equal to i into g which is equal to 0 0.2 into 80.33 which is approximated as 16.06 volt right so this is the value that we get thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today